statewide newscast, Arkansas Today. Welcome back. Our friend Wild Woman Kirsten Bartlow joins us from Arkansas Game and Fish. Today we are talking about box turtles, and you have one here today. Just adorable. Been really sweet, too. Yeah, they are. I've got a soft spot for box turtles, and a lot of people do, and we see them this time of year. And if you see a box turtle, it's probably going to be this little three-toed box turtle. It's the most common type we have in the state. We've also got ornate box turtles, and they'll have a, a much more brightly colored shell, but they're not as common. You'll just see them in our remnant prairies and grasslands. And so, so if you see one, a lot of people want to, you know, kids will see them, maybe want to take them inside. Do they make good pets? They don't. You know, it's a really gentle turtle, so mm -hmm. they're a great introduction for kids. If you want to pick one up and look at it, and if your child brings one home for the day, that's one thing, but you got to get it back to where it belongs okay. because they've got pretty specific nutritional needs, and a lot of them end up starving to death in captivity. So we encourage you to take them back to where you found them. Um, that's really sad to hear. Oh, my goodness. If you have a box turtle at your house right now, let them free. Um, talk kind of about the history of the box turtle. Well, they live a long time. This little guy could live 50 years, 80 wow. years, even up to 100 years. So the thing to keep in mind is they've got a real distinct little home range. They may live in just two acres their whole life. Hmm. So again, if you pick one up, don't move it somewhere else. You need to take it right back to where you found them. Um, that's where they want to be. <laughs> okay. They're really, really neat animals. They've done a great job today. Very good in our studio. We've been talking about this on the news. The tragic flooding has really caused a lot of problem for wildlife. People are seeing more snakes, more turtles um, as they're trying to avoid the flooding and you say just leave them alone. Yeah and you know we can use this box turtle as an example. They've evolved for their whole life to deal with floods. Mm -hmm. So a flood comes in slowly so the little turtle and other animals just move ahead of the water. Okay. And like a little box turtle he's a land turtle but he floats like a cork and he oh. may float down hit land and start all over again. Oh, so good. Good yeah, know. They, they know how to deal with the flood water. It's pretty amazing. Uh -huh. Okay and just let them be. What other animals should we be looking out for in wildlife? Really? Well, I mean, things are coming up to high ground, whether it's turkeys or deer or other, mm -hmm. you know, types of turtles. So just give them some space. It's stressful for them as well. I so, can imagine. Yeah, give them a little bit of space. Um, if you want to see this one, go down to our nature center in downtown mm -hmm. here. You can see the high water and go to the Whit Stevens Jr. Central Arkansas Nature Center. That has been a popular spot for people to go and sightsee because yeah. it's far enough away. It is. Um, thank goodness. It is. It's closed today, by the way, but hit them up tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. And your kids will love it. If you're looking for something to do this summer, with your kids. It's fun. It's cool in there. I always love when we're downtown and we step in and it's cool. Yeah. They can see some animals yeah. and um, and you have some programs that happen there throughout there the are, year. There are. Check out our website at agfc.com. Those folks down there do some great programming. So great things for the kids going on this summer. And it's free. Best yes. part ever. Yes, All the parents rejoice. <laughs> we're back with your forecast after this. Stick around.